Well guys, it's that time again. Time for me to show you my annual bag of trash, AKA my empties. So this bag I have here, which is very full and very heavy and about to tear, so I'm gonna put it down, contains all of the products that I completely used up in 2017. And I probably missed a couple things here and there, but I tried to be really diligent. So even while I was traveling, I would save products that I ran out of and bring them back with me so I could put them in this bag. I did this last year and I really loved it because I was able to see the things that I loved over the course of a year to the point of using them up. And also I got to reflect on why I used up certain products because maybe I didn't love it so much but I just didn't want to waste it. And you guys seem to really like that video too so here I am again! There is no kind of organization. I'm just gonna jump in and see what comes out. Tony and Guy Reboost Dry Shampoo. TBH, this is one of those products that I completely used up, but I didn't like love it. I just used it because it was a dry shampoo that I had around. Oh my God, something I did love though. This is the Fido for Oily Hair Unbalanced Scalp Shampoo. It was a pretty watery consistency. I really feel like it helped with my oily scalp because the more that I use this, the longer I could go between washes and my hair didn't feel dry or brittle Something definitely spilled in here because there's like a residue on everything. All right, we have a lot of simple micellar makeup wipes. These don't need any kind of introduction. There are four right here. We might encounter more though, so just be warned. I'm obsessed with those makeup wipes. I just keep buying them. Two of the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. This is one of my favorite clarifying shampoos. I just keep buying it because it is so good and it really cleanses my hair. All right, I think this is the culprit for the residue that's happening because the entire bag smells like this product. It is Soap and Glory's Flake Away Bumble body scrub. I've used it before. It's very effective, but it's a little bit more gentle and I like how the bits are a little bit finer than other sugar scrubs. The Tatcha Cleansing Oil because this is my bae. This is one of the best makeup removers I have ever used. It completely melts any kind of makeup on my face, including waterproof makeup. Got an Eve Lom Rescue Mask. This is one of my favorite masks for treating breakouts. First Aid Beauty oil-free mattifying gel. I really like this as a light moisturizer. Another oil-free moisturizer. I really liked this one from Kate Somerville. I love the Kate Somerville moisturizer packaging because you just press down here and the product comes out. I've opened this packaging up to see if there's any product left and this pump gets out every last drop of product, which I really appreciate. So nothing is going to waste. Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, because let's be honest, you use this like five times and it's already gone. Oh my gosh, this soap. This is the Aesop Resurrection Hand Wash. I love Aesop and their hand washes. I really like the exfoliating one as well. They just have really sophisticated, gorgeous, Sense. This is the Tammy Fender Cleansing Milk with Lavender and Faux Tea. I really like this when my skin was irritated. It's super calming, really hydrating, great especially in the winter. If you live in a place that has really harsh winters, this calms your skin after you've been outside and it just feels really red and irritated. This is the Davines DD Shampoo. This was all right. It wasn't something that I loved, but it worked. It was a really gentle shampoo, but it didn't clean my hair as much as I would have liked. Love the Schwarzkopf Magic Powder. This is a volumizing hair powder that works so well. It adds texture to your hair, a little bit of grit, and lots of volume. Laura Mercier Oil-Free Tinted Moisturizer in the color Bisque. I actually have this on my face today. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizers are my favorite. They're amazing and I just keep using them and going back to them because they provide the perfect amount of coverage. They're hydrating but not greasy and they just look really natural and beautiful on the skin. The Tarte Clean Queen Vegan Deodorant. I liked this. I don't think it controlled wetness very well. It was all right but I just used it because I had this and 
It was good, but definitely not my favorite. Oh my god, Byredo Treehouse. I feel like this candle will forever be my favorite candle. I am obsessed with this candle. It is so pricey, but it is so worth it. This is the Carez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. This has been one of my favorites for a long time, and I had this in my apartment in New York, and I finished this up because I didn't want to waste it. I haven't used it since the beginning of last year, but I think this is a great moisturizer if you're looking for something really hydrating and also brightening. I really enjoyed using the Belief Aqua Balm. I had never used anything from Belief before, but this was a great moisturizer, especially during the spring and summer. I will say that sometimes this moisturizer would clump up when I would put makeup over the top. So that was the one downside with this moisturizer. Ooh. There's definitely some scrub residue on this. This is the Beauty Blender Soap, the little travel size one. Used up that and I'm just gonna put it in the bag because it's oily. Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. There's a little bit left in here, but I just can't get it out. CoverGirl Plumpify and Waterproof. Ooh, this one's really oily. <laughs> this definitely has stuff on it. I think what happened with that scrub is that there was a little bit of water in it from being in my shower and then it spilled. I like to keep it fancy and classy by showing you products that are dirty, oily, and greasy. The Tatcha Essence, oh my god, this stuff is amazing. I use this right after washing my face. It plumps up your skin, so that way everything that you use afterwards is just even more effective. Absolutely love Glossier Super Pure. I don't love that they're so tiny, they're only half an ounce, but this serum is so good at soothing redness and calming breakouts. I just haven't found anything better, so I keep using it. Got a simple micellar water. This is the large size. I love the simple micellar water. And this last year I discovered the Water Boost, which is their newer micellar water that they came out with. But I will always be a fan of the original. It just removes any kind of gunk that you have on your face. This is the Lorac Hydrogenist Serum. I loved this last winter. This was so hydrating. I would mix it in with my moisturizer, but I also used it on its own. It smells amazing and it's at a price point that is similar to Clinique. I really liked the Herbivore Sea Mist, especially the lavender and sea salt one. This is a wave spray and I loved it. I thought it was great, especially for summer. The Make Prem Safe Me Relief Cream. This is an amazing moisturizer. It only has 12 ingredients in it. It has a lovely whipped consistency to it, and I think it's great for all skin types. This is the Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. This was another great cleansing oil I used this year. The Tatcha one beat it by a little bit, but this is still a great option. This is a little tiny size of the Schmidt it's bergamot and lime deodorant. This was actually how I discovered it because I got a little sample size of it and I loved it so much I started to buy the full size. This is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Facial Spray. This smells amazing. It's really refreshing and I love how hydrating it is. Another simple micellar water. This is the regular size. The Tatcha Polish Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. I am obsessed with this. It's one of my all-time favorite favorite cleansers. I have a little travel size of the Glow Recipe and Wamisa Green Tea Serum Toner. This is a great toner for hydration. I have another volumizing powder. This is the Batiste XXL Plumping Powder. I love this. I love it even more than the Schwarzkopf one. This is the Tatcha Balance Pore Perfecting Water Gel Moisturizer. This is a great moisturizer for oily skin, especially when it's hot. It's super light and it just leaves your skin feeling refreshed cooled and balanced. I love the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, especially in the winter. It is my favorite thing to use on my hands when they're just feeling really dry because it's not greasy, it doesn't have a scent to it, it's super gentle and really, really hydrating. Four more 
simple micellar makeup wipe bags. We have another. This is the Omarovixa Deep Cleansing Mask. I love this. This is such an amazing deep cleansing mask. It's super gentle. It feels really refreshing. And I feel like it really gets like the blackheads, especially that happen on your nose. This is the R&Co Oblivion Clarifying Shampoo. I thought this was good, but I didn't think it was the greatest clarifying shampoo I've ever used. This is the Kate Somerville Nourish Moisturizer which has been one of my favorites for a really long time. I think the consistency is perfect. It's somewhere between a gel and a cream. It's so hydrating, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy and it's great for sensitive skin too. This is the First Aid Beauty Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. I use this in my shower as a cleanser and I feel like it's good. Although I will say, I think I prefer the original First Aid Beauty face cleanser over this one. I threw a beauty blender in here to remind myself that I completely used up this beauty blender. Like this is after I've washed it a ton of times. It is really used. This is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Body Lotion. I love the Fresh Body Lotions. This one in particular smells like fresh laundry. I've said that so many times in my videos, but it's just the most accurate description of this body lotion. Oh man, I still have a ton of stuff in here. Kerastase Volume in Powder Spray or VIP Spray. I loved this as a texturizing spray for volume. It also had really great hold to it. We have more CoverGirl Plumpify Waterproof. Also the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in Waterproof. I did really like this, but it costs way more than CoverGirl, so I went back to CoverGirl. Another Glossier Super Pure Serum. This is the Redken Body Full Shampoo. This was okay. Didn't particularly like love it, but I used it all. It was all right. It was like one of those in-between shampoos. The Kenra Clarifying Shampoo. This is almost too good in terms of clarifying because it can be super drying because it really just like pulls everything out of your hair. So sometimes it can make my hair too dry, but if you have a lot of product buildup, this is great and you can get it on Amazon. The Herba Viva Body Spray, this is the Breathe Scent and I actually use this as a room spray because it says you can use this as a room spray. I loved spraying this in my bedroom before bed. It's really relaxing. It smells like eucalyptus, cedar, and spruce and it made me feel like I was in a forest. I have a little Glossier Boy Brow here. It was definitely product that grew on on me the more that I used it. Oh look, it's another CoverGirl Plumpify. We have a NARS eye primer, mm-hmm, cause you know, this is the only eye primer I use. This is the Lirac Hydrogenous Gel Cream. I loved the serum and I also really enjoyed the moisturizer as well. This is the Ombre Elise Artist Secret Radiant Eye and this is a cooling and refreshing eye stick. This is one of the best recent discoveries that I have made because it is so great, especially when I'm traveling or if I have to wake up early in the morning. It's this little stick that you can just put underneath your eyes and on your eyelids and it's instantly cooling. And if you put this in the refrigerator, it's even colder and it just looks like a little glue stick, but it feels so good. It's hydrating and I love how small it is cause I can just take it everywhere with me. This is the Shiseido eye cream that I've been using forever and I'm still using it. Got a Meow Meow Tweet deodorant here. I really love the grapefruit one that is baking soda free. This is another great natural deodorant. I will say it does help with wetness, but it's not as good as the Schmitz deodorant, but I still love it. I think it's a great cream deodorant and still definitely one of my all time favorites. More Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. We have this size and a little baby. I used a bar soap called Daydream. This is from Formulary 55, which is a brand that I really love for bar soap. This is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. So this is the cleanser that I was talking about that I prefer over the red one. It's super gentle. I feel like it really cleans my face and it's just a good everyday face cleanser. Look who it is. I'm telling you, these are so small. That's why I have so many of these. Oh my God, there's another one in here. Can somebody do a super pure count? How many are we at now? Because this is crazy. Jo Malone Peonium Blush Suede Body Cream. Oh my God, the Jo Malone body creams are so luxurious. They're amazing when you put them on your body. And because Peonium Blush Suede is my scent, 
I love having it all over me. Anastasia brow pencil, the Tatcha lip balm. This is one of the best lip balms that I have ever used. This is the Laura Mercier fluid foundation. It's like almost completely rubbed off the front here because I used it so much. I really love this because it's an oil-free foundation that's super light. It gives you more coverage than a tinted moisturizer, but it's not a super full coverage foundation and I think it just looks really lovely on the skin. This is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Corrector. This was an under eye concealer that I was using that I really enjoyed. It had a nice peachy color to it so I felt like it corrected any kind of darkness underneath my eyes. And then this is the Bobbi Brown Natural Brow Shaper. This is basically just brow gel. Laura Mercier Oil Free Tinted Moisturizer. This is ochre because this is the darker shade that I wear. This is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder. I love this as a setting powder, especially if you want a little bit of coverage. This is the Clear Scalp and Hair Total Care Nourishing Conditioner. Honestly, I use this to shave my legs. I have a Tula Exfoliating Treatment Mask. I love this mask. It is so good, especially if you need a good exfoliation. It really just makes my skin feel clean and balanced and super smooth. This is the Kiehl's Daily Reviving concentrate. This was good, but it wasn't something that I was like, oh my god, I need to keep buying it. It was just all right. This is the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder, which I actually use as a dry shampoo. So I put this in my hair at night and I just like shower my hair in it and then it absorbs oil while I'm sleeping and I wake up and it's like, I have freshly washed hair. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is amazing for hydration and for extra glow. So you can use this while you're wearing makeup, but I actually use it when I'm not wearing makeup and I just want extra hydration on my face. I have another Tatcha Polished Cleanser. This is the Sephora Delete All Nail Polish Remover. So there's just a little sponge inside where you stick your fingers in and it removes your nail polish and it works so, so well. Another beauty blender, another Anastasia eyebrow pencil. That's it, that's all the trash for the year. All right, so that is going to be it for my empties video this year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have more videos coming your way and I will start collecting my trash for 2018. See you guys later. Bye.